Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to film a super quick first impression video for you guys. Um, if anyone is interested in the beauty industry, if you guys are in the beauty industry, you probably heard of the super hyped, well anticipated lip kits that were being launched by Kylie Jenner. Originally I wasn't going to buy them. I was like, I do have colors that are pretty similar to those. And, you know, I'm sure the formulation is pretty similar to some of the lips liquid lipsticks that I have because a lot of people do have a liquid lipstick line. But I caved and I decided to order a few of the kits for myself just because I wanted to try them. I wanted to try the formulation. I wanted to be able to make a video for you guys and to let you know if they are worth the hype and if I love them. So there are three shades in the initial launch that she had. Um, there is Candy, which is more of a pinkish matte shade. I'm not too crazy about pink lipsticks. Um, I'll wear them once in a while, but they aren't like my go-to. So I decided I didn't need the pink one. But I did go with Dulce, which is it's like a nudish color. And then I went with True Brown. So this is what the box looks like. I believe those are Kylie's lips. The kit comes with a lipstick, a liquid lipstick, and a pencil. So they are corresponding shades. So this is a brown lip pencil and, you know, it works with the brown liquid lipstick. Originally, I was like, they got us. It's pretty genius that they make you buy the lip liner for the lipstick because you really do. I have a million lip pencils and usually with liquid lipsticks, I don't use lip pencils, but I thought it was a pretty good idea. I did use the lip pencil when I applied this liquid lipstick. Um, I don't necessarily feel like it made a difference. I just feel like lip liner is lip liner. Some people need to use it and some people are just like, eh, whatever, I'm just going to wing it. I kind of usually just wing it unless I'm doing like a super neutral shade, which kind of washes me out. And I kind of want to add some warmth to that perimeter of my lip to kind of make it blend better. That's usually when I use a lip liner. But I did use a lip liner because I wanted to like try out the formulation. So the first thing. Shipping takes about one month, which is pretty typical, especially with a launch as big as this. Um, and it was like their first launch. So I expected the shipping to be, you know, about three weeks to a month. And that's what I think it took. I think it almost was exactly one month. The price points, it was $29 for the liquid lipstick and the lip pencil. Honestly, it's pretty average for what like one liquid lipstick can cost you 20 bucks. So I think that that's pretty you know it's a pretty fair price and the lip pencil would I guess probably average at nine dollars I think that the price point also you know works if you you know are into spending a little bit more for your lip products there are also other brands obviously that you can get similar colors for you know a lot cheaper Colourpop's a great option shop by Lavos also launched some liquid lipsticks and I believe they are priced at like twelve dollars each in Colourpop is I believe six dollars for their liquid lipstick so if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper those are great alternatives but if you wanted to try them out to see if they're worth the hype you know I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know right now so I did apply this lipstick super early this morning well um, it wasn't super early but it was earlier in the day um so I've been wearing it probably seven hours um, I did go out to dinner, you know, I've been wearing it all day. The only thing I had to retouch the center of my, the right here, which is pretty typical with all liquid lipsticks. I don't think I've ever found maybe one or two brands that I found that don't move at all, but 99% of brands, they're definitely going to move just in that center part. The way that they smell. I actually really like the way that they smell. They have like this vanilla batter... It's like a vanilla batter. That's what I would describe it as. Um, I think that the color payoff is pretty amazing. And I believe Kylie said, I like read a post two years or something like that to come up with this particular formula. I was like, doesn't like a really long time. But cannot lie, I do really like the formulation of this liquid lipstick. Um, it's super opaque. I don't know if you guys can even see that. So that's one swipe. It gives you a nice color payoff. Um, the distribution of the color is really even. Um, I feel that my lips, obviously liquid to matte formula, your lips are not going to ever feel super moisturized. They don't feel overly dry, which is something that now that I've tried so many brands, that's something that I look for, something that's not going to make my lips feel overly dry. And these don't. My lips feel, they feel dry. They don't feel super dry. They don't feel super moisturized. They feel like a liquid lipstick should feel and the lip pencil 
I actually really like it. I think the formula is super smooth. Let's see. You guys can see that. I think the formula is really, really smooth. Um, it doesn't skip, which is something that's really important when you're looking for eyeliners and when you're looking for lip liners. I prefer creamier products, although when you have creamier products, sometimes they do tend to snap just because the product is a little bit creamier, so it doesn't have that like hold. Um, but I think the product is super creamy and it went on super nicely. I did post a little mini 15 second clip on IG for anybody that's interested in seeing how True Brown you know goes on. I did take a few pictures. It does photograph with flash slightly differently than it looks in person or you know on camera with like no flash or anything. I feel like the shade looks a little bit deeper. I like both of the shades. I think that the shade is also really really unique. You can also find that on my Instagram. It's Makeup by Denise if you guys want to see pictures of how it photographs. Um, but also it depends on like your lighting, like your exposure, all those things. So you can always adjust those to like so that it looks pretty true to person. Um, pretty true to person. That does not sound right. So it looks pretty true to how it looks in person. There we go. Um, so yeah. Honestly, if you are a liquid lipstick collector, I guess I'm going to call myself that because I'm obsessed with liquid lipsticks. Um, if you are a liquid lipstick collector and you don't have these shades because the shades are not this shade I needed. I feel like True Brown was like, yes, like I needed this shade because it's super bomb. Um, and I'm so glad that I got this one. The other two shades, you can definitely find them with other companies. But if you are a liquid lipstick collector... I definitely would suggest at least picking up one um yeah I don't really know I don't I haven't done any first impression videos I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be saying but so I'm just kind of winging it I talked about the price I talked about the formulation um I talked about the wear so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little sw swatch of Dulce so I'm just gonna take true brown off I haven't taken it off yet so let's see how it comes off okay so that does not move okay so it's coming off a little bit you can also use um coconut oil works really well or you can use like oil free makeup remover I need a mirror. Okay. I look ridiculous right now. And whenever I'm going to do like a lipstick change, I'll just take the foundation brush that I used earlier in the day. And I'll just go over like the edges of my mouth. You know, when you like wipe away, you can sometimes wipe away like this makeup. So I just want to make sure that I have like a clean slate. So now we're going to go on with Dulce. I'll use the pencil now too. Although honestly, I probably won't use the pencils on like an every everyday use. But just to show you guys. Okay, so on my skin tone, what is this? Dulce is pretty invisible. <laughs> yeah, and for anyone wondering, the tube, it just looks like there's just like little, it's like melting and it, has, it just says Kylie on the front. So this is what this shade looks like. Personally, I love this like shade of lipstick. This like nude-ish kind of like, like true nude. Uh, oh, dry time. I would say dry time is probably like three minutes and there is zero transfer, which is super bomb. 
So I'm just going to show you. This has probably been on my hand for a few minutes. So I'm just going to... So there's nothing on my finger. So I'm just going to press. It's funny because when I do this, people are like, you didn't even touch your hand. Why would I lie? <laughs> so I'm just pressing on my hand. And there's nothing on my finger. So I think that that's pretty good. Obviously, I'm sure if you use oil products or any type of like fried chicken or if you're like going in you're gonna get a little movement on the lips I'm just seeing if this will set so this is pretty much I would say this color is similar I would say this shade is similar to stone by dose of colors if anyone's tried it so that's basically it um, I discussed everything in reference to the product, so I think it's worth the hype. So, okay, this is basically what it comes down to. Do you purchase liquid lipsticks for the color? Because the color you can get. Color is nothing. Like, everyone's done, you know, you can find this color. Like, are you, do you purchase your stuff because you like the color? Do you like... Is it important how long it stays on your lips? Do you like the texture? Like, it kind of depends on what's important to you when buying liquid lipsticks. And I'm going to do a whole liquid lipstick, like, battle of the liquid lipsticks or something. Because I have so many and there's just a lot of liquid lipsticks that have pros and cons. So I, I do want to make one whole video about this. So I'm not going to, like, go off on, like, a tangent about this. Um, but it's kind of what's important to you in reference to buying liquid lipsticks. Like, this color you can definitely find. I, what I like to find in liquid lipstick is the wear and how it makes my lips feel because there are some brands that will last forever but they're not as comfortable to wear as other lipsticks. I like liquid lipsticks that are pretty comfortable to wear and I don't feel too much. A little bit of transfer doesn't bother me. Some people are like, I want my shit bulletproof. Like they don't want it to move at all. I don't mind like a little bit of transfer like if it feels comfortable for me. Um... So yeah, it kind of depends on what you feel is important, if you should even try these or not. Um, I think they feel really comfortable. I was wearing True Brown all day and it didn't even, I didn't even really feel it. So, you know, I'm like, I, I love it and I like the color. I think that True Brown is pretty unique. You can definitely find like obviously other brown liquid lipsticks, but I do feel like that shade is pretty unique. Especially like how it looks different in like different lighting and with flash and without flash and stuff. So I do kind of like that. So I do like the texture and how it feels on my lips. So I kind of go toward liquid lipsticks because of their wear and like how comfortable they are. So in reference to that, if you, that's your thing, I would definitely say give these a try. If you're more so like, no, I don't really care how they feel on my lips. I just want them to stay all day. Then this probably, you know, you don't need to like go out and spend $29 on one of these because you can definitely find another brand that's cheaper that'll last longer because it'll just like stay there um so yeah if you guys have any questions not sure how you feel about these first impression videos if you're into this kind of thing or if you want me to do more if there's you know whatever I've tr I've really tried to start making more videos for YouTube there's just there's just so they're so intense there's just so much that goes into like a YouTube video um, but I have really been trying and it's one of my goals for 2016 to start making more videos like more consistently. Um, I know some people have schedules like every like Tuesday and Thursday. I don't necessarily know like you know how I feel about that. I'm kind of like just more like a free spirit. I'm just like eh, I want to record YouTube today. So that's kind of what I've been doing and I've been like in the mood lately to kind of do more which is why I've been pumping those out. But if you guys are into like the schedule, like specific days, just let me know and I'll try to like conform. <laughs> um, or if you know you're into this more like freestyle, like I post when I post kind of thing, let me know. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, if there's something else you want me to review, just leave them in the comments below. And thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. Until next time guys, bye.